RFD TV presents Gentle Giant with Pam Minnick and Katie Kaufman. Hi, everybody. I'm Justin McKee, and joining me is Pam Minnick, who is the host of Gentle Giants here on RFD TV. And this is a special day, the second round, and there's certainly some special people involved. There certainly are. These people are passionate about their horses, and they're also compassionate as well. 14 months ago, I didn't know much about Gentle Giants. I was a rodeo person just like you, but I found that just like rodeo people, they'll help each other. They love what they do, and they love these big horses. They've come from as far away on the East Coast as Pennsylvania, and as far away on the West Coast as Oregon, and clear up by the Canadian border. Order, and they're glad to be in Texas. Well, and across the board from ages uh, zero to a hundred, everybody is captivated when they see these beautiful animals come in the arena and the, uh, the wagons as well. Right, but here at Mesquite, this arena is a little bit smaller than they're used to. We've got the eight best hitches in the world, Percherons, Clydesdales, and Belgians, but this arena is small and it is a real test of driver skills. We'll get to see those driver skills and to find out more about what's going on back in the staging area, let's go to Katie Kaufman. Pam and Justin, I walked through the barns this morning and the energy and excitement is truly exhilarating. As all of you know, this is the first time in history that these hitches will be competing for more than $100,000 in prize money. As you can tell, the drivers are excited and they're ready to go. Blue Ribbon Days is a combined hitch. Uh, Albert and Karen Cleavy along with Jim and Peggy Day from Missouri and Iowa respectively. And at the lines, Dean Woodbury, we'll see a little bit more of him in just a second, but what a beautiful hitch this is. So we'd like to welcome Blue Ribbon Days here from Indiana and Missouri as we go to our, our next hitch. These are the Belgians and these are the current world champions. This is Wilderness Ridge Farm from Segola, Michigan. Bud Miller is at the lines. This is owned by Bob and Judy Gunville and they came all the way from Michigan to cheer on their hitch as well. And you can see why this hitch was the world champion. They give the word horsepower a whole new meaning. Absolutely. And our third hitch today is Express Ranches out of Yukon, Oklahoma. And here is a team that we see at a, a lot of rodeos. Those beautiful black Clydesdales have been a part of all the big rodeos across North America. And so they've got a, a very busy schedule when you combine the rodeos along with the shows that they have here at the Six Horse Competition. Huntington Creek Farms now coming in from Hamptonville, North Carolina. You're going to see more black Clydesdales just like the Express Hitch. And you know, they're very rare. You typically see Bay Clydesdales like the uh, Budweiser Clydesdales. Black Clydesdales are pretty rare, and you notice how perfectly matched they are. They've all got white feet, they've all got blazed faces, and that is Chip Lawrence at the line. This is owned by the Hunter family. The judges are also looking for those teams of horses. There are three teams of two horses to be in synchronization as they step across the arena. And you know, we talk about the judging. Yesterday was round one. We don't know what those scores were. There were three judges. We'll meet them in just a little bit. But we don't know what those scores were. They'll they'll be sealed along with today's scores, and that's how today's champion and that $100,000 will be distributed. We're taking a look at Blue Ribbon Days, and let's tell you a little bit more about them. These Percheron mares are world champions. At the wheel, those big girls, that's Emily and Unique. And you met Albert Cleedy, one of the owners, yesterday. And when he says the word unique, he gets tears in his eyes. He, he, he truly loves that loves mare. Loves that mare. And the wheel horses are the biggest set or the biggest team of the horses, and they're closest to the wagon. They're the ones that pull most of the load as well as put the brakes on if need be. You know, you saw Dean Woodbury at the lines, and we talked about how small this arena is, and they've got to make perfectly square corners there. You see him, he's constantly moving those lines. The lines alone and the pressure on them with those horses weighs 65 pounds. By the end of this uh, routine that they'll go through, both ways the arena, his arms will be tired. We'll tell you real quickly about the swing horses, Belle and Tabby. And then out at the lead, the animated horses, and this is what the judges are looking for, animation, ears alert. That's Crystal and Melody. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Those, uh, those harnesses are absolutely sparkling here today. And that's one of the things that they're looking at. They're judging for how beautiful the harnesses are, how clean the wagons are. There's no dust in those barns. You know, we were going through the uh, the stalls yesterday looking at uh, these horses and 
It looked like uh, a, a spa, a, a lady <laughs> spa. These horses were getting their nails done and their hair was getting uh, blown dry and fluffed and uh, it was incredible the care and uh, the detail that the owners take in putting together these show horses. Let's take a look at these beautiful Belgians. Of course, they're from Segola, Michigan. They say, when you ask them where Segola is, they say it's 100 miles from Lambeau Field. And they've got a picture in their stall area of Brett Farr, who goes hunting there, because Wilderness Ridge is a hunting facility. They've got elk and white-tailed deer on their 2,000-acre farm. This family has been a part of uh, heavy horses a long time. At the lines is Bud Miller. I rode on that hitch last night. Now you're noticing that they are reversing the order because the judges want to see if the horses and the wagon and the driver can manipulate both to the right and to the left. And like I said, current world champions, you can see why. Look at them. They are just, they are massive. 19.2 hands, 2,000 pounds apiece. Let's take a look at the next hitch as we have four of them in this first heat of competition, the Express Clydesdales. This hitch, like you said, goes all over the place. His team is just amazing, and they are truly ambassadors for the draft horse industry. But you saw these horses yesterday. They were getting their legs all combed out, and when they comb that hair on those Clydesdales, they do it very delicately. They don't want to lose any of that beautiful feather. And that barn has become, you, you mentioned, a touristy track attraction. They even have a gift shop in there. They do. Yeah, these, uh, these black and they've even, they've are And they've got a book famous. called Mr. Bob's Barn Mr. about him. <laughs> or Bob's Big Barn. How about that? And you know, uh, he mentioning that uh, he wanted to promote the state of Oklahoma. I think that's appropriate since uh, statehood began with a land run you with know. a team of horses and a wagon. All of America began with these horses. These were the semis of yesteryear. I mean, this is how you got your groceries. This is how you traveled across. Let's take a look at Hunting Creek Farms. And you mentioned they're from Hamptonville, North Carolina, the driver, Chip Lawrence. These also are black Clydesdales, and they're the reigning eight-horse hitch Clydesdale champions. So they've got eight of these beautiful black horses, just like the Budweiser Clydesdales. They, Chip, the driver, also builds wagons. He tweaked this one. This is a historic wagon that he tweaked. On their farm, they produce corn, soybeans, and wheat, and they've got a beautiful historic home for private events. At the wheel, those big horses are, Jack's, are Jess and Bexton. The swing horses are Lynn and Pete, and out at the front are Jack's and Lucky. Now they'll line up here, and then they'll have a chance for the judges to go um, around them and check them out, see how they back up and uh, go through all their maneuvers. The judges are really gonna take a look up close and personal. When Gentle Giants returns, we'll see the next group of four hitches. Stay with us. This is the second round of the Gentle Giants $100,000 Invitational held in conjunction with the American Rodeo Semifinals here in Mesquite. This is Ames Percherons from Jordan, Minnesota. They were the 2012 world champion Percheron hits. Travis Shaw at the lines, and they are beautiful. Those gray horses with that red wagon, just amazing. Next into the arena, that uh, good looking white team is the shine, or white hitch, I should say, is the Shining Stars Percherons out of Altoona, Iowa. Gary Miller at the lines, and you saw his brother Bud that was just in one of the earlier hitches. He was running alongside him at the gate. Kind of like the uh, rodeo extended family. You can see the same thing in the uh, six horse hitch extended family as we see a beautiful team of Clydesdales. That's the double S Clydesdales from Tillamook, Oregon. You know, I am really partial to this. Uh, not that I'm not partial to any of them, but I love their story. It's a family-owned hitch. The Smith family owns it. Sean Smith at the lines, and Adam uh, is his assistant driver. And Sean came here, and you were just going to say he had the flu when he got here, right? Well, he did have the flu, yes. But also, you mentioned that they're unique and that this is just a, a family hitch. A lot of these other hitches 
come from uh, uh, or are sponsored or owned by a large corporation or business. Right, and uh, that's why I just, you know, it's kind of like they're rooting for that guy. But they do have a great business in their jerky business. We'll yeah. talk about that in a oh, moment. Good. And here is the hitch from Windermere Farms in Jackson Fork Ranch. And this is where Gentle Giants all began as far as on TV because Joe had the vision, as we heard, um, to bring it to Patrick and say, let's show these horses to the world. That's Here we right. go. That's Travis Shaw, the driver of Ames Perch Runs. We talked about them earlier being the 2012 world champions. And one of the things that's amazing about the gray perch run is just like people, their hair coat changes color as they get older. So one of the challenges of keeping a uniformly gray hitch together is trying to catch them when their hair coats are just at the right stage in their development. They're constantly looking for new gray horses of this caliber to pull. There's the lead team. Take a look at Hammer and Rowdy. And if they aren't spirited, I don't know what is. You know, I talked to some of the drivers last night. The crowd was so big yesterday and the music so loud, they actually had trouble communicating with their horses. Well, and that's a big part of driving a tit. Just uh, hitches is not just in your hands. It's talking Voice to those commands. horses. Chee and haw, <laughs> chee and haw. <laughs> well, and some of them, uh, like Bud Miller, his cue is alrighty now. Alrighty now. We'll take a look at their wheel horses. Their wheel horses, the big ones are Ollie and Skip. And you just see, it's effortless for them to pull that wagon. Of course, they're all work, working together. And then at the swing, the middle horses, Harold and Lance, and they all know their name. We talked yesterday about Dick Ames, the owner of Ames Construction that is, like you mentioned, a corporate hitch. He is one of the largest industrial builders in the nation. And when he was building the Denver International Airport, he went to the Denver Stock Show. He saw the hitch class. He remembered back as a boy when they had Percherons on their family farm, and he got involved in the hitch industry. You know, and for those that are watching this show that may have a business that they would like to promote, at county fairs and rodeos and other ag events, well, you might consider uh, putting together a six horse hitch it is a great opportunity to bring the entire family together and get the name out for your business or corporation in uh, a, a very appealing way that does so much for uh, the history of our nation and telling that story, along with getting to know some animals that uh, are are very almost human-like from time to time. Okay, they're reversing the order and you can see shining stars, these beautiful Percherons, uh, their gildings. They were national champs in 2012 and 13 and six horse hitch champs at Iowa and Michigan last year. Of course, Diana and Mitch Marquat owned Shining Stars Learning Center. Take a look, you can see at the lead is Fallon and Star. And we're moving on to Double S Clydesdales. Of course, we talked about them earlier from Tillamook, Oregon. They have Tillamook Country Smoker Beef Jerky. And of course, the Smith family, Sean at the lines, and Adam is his assistant. And poor Sean got the flu when he got to Texas, didn't even get to enjoy most of the sunshine, but he has really cowboyed up, I'll tell you that. That uh, beef jerky from Tillamook. Uh, they're also famous for their cheese up there, too. I think you're it's a right. Great combination. 2,200 miles their trip, and we didn't even talk about what it takes to get here. Lots of hay, mm. lots of grain, and when these horses drink, they drink a whole big garbage can full of water, not just a bucket. No hanging yeah. buckets in the stalls. If you're a cowboy, you understand that. Now, interesting, I, I was talking about how much, or asking how much hay do they eat in the barn area yesterday, they said not much more than a regular horse, believe it or not. They, but they say drink a lot of water. Cold blooded. That's what they say makes the difference. So you see at the lead, Jack and Bean, Joey and Captain at swing, and Hal and Paul are the wheel horses. And they are power up. Got a little out of step there. Now the judges will take a look at that. Yeah. That horse tried to lope just a little bit and they want to see them trotting. That's one of the things that that they mentioned that they're um, that they're looking for. And here's the Jackson Fork Windermere Farms. Now what they did when Mr. Ricketts met Mr. Olibach, Gerald Olibach has a wonderful stallion called Moose, the biggest horse I've ever seen. <laughs> and Mr. Ricketts has these beautiful world champion Percheron mares. He said, you know what, I wanna keep my hitch competitive, but I wanna focus on breeding mares. Amazingly, this is foaling season for most of the mares, so all their 
World champion mares are at home having babies. Melissa in October started these. Three of these are just three-year-olds. Oh, she amazing. started these and it's been snowing in Pennsylvania. On their Facebook, they've been posting pictures. She made them get out and drive every day in the snow to keep these horses in shape because they're just like athletes. And let's take a look at the lead. We've got Queen and Ike at the swing, Ginger and Sky, and the big wheel mares are Aloe and Serena. Don't go anywhere. We'll find out who's taking home the big prize money when Gentle Giants returns. We are getting very close to finding out who the big winners are going to be for this very prestigious title, Pam. Here we go with our third place winner, Wilderness Ridge Farms. Of course, the current world champion, but Bud told me that he had trouble with his wheel horses last night, and I'm sure that that figured into the placing. But they'll go home with $15,000 for third place, and there are many shows that don't pay that for first or champion, let me tell you. They are, I'm sure, thrilled to go home with third place here, especially considering what he considered not a great drive in, in round one. And of course, they'll get a chance to get that big check from RFD TV. I bet that's the biggest check they ever got. One of the biggest that Patrick's ever given as well in an arena, that's for sure. Capturing your second place award, picking up their check for $25,000. And that'll buy a lot of hay. And with the winter that we've had, um, that's probably much needed. Well, and of course, we love that hitch of Shining Stars Pertrons and what great things they do for young people and spread that world across, that word across the United States of horses and healing. There's their $25,000 check. Patrick Gotch and Raquel Gotch presenting to driver Gary Miller. Well, and that leaves one. One hitch left in the arena. Travis Shaw, the manager and the driver of this six horse hitch. They have not only captured national titles, world titles, but now in your first ever $100,000 competition, Mr. Travis Shaw pulling that six horse hitch up to receive his check on behalf of RFD TV. Mr. Patrick Gotch presenting that magical check for $60,000. Take a look at Travis Shaw. That meant a lot to him. This is just incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, they are some of the dollars. I know Mr. Ames is going to be happy. First I hope he's at, all the way. at home watching Those it on TV. Portraits. All right, let's go to Katie Kaufman up on top of the winning hitch. Well, thank you so much, Pam and Justin. The emotion is hard to control. Travis Shaw with Ames Construction Pertrons. Did you ever think that today you would be competing for $60,000 in prize no, money? Never. <laughs> Never dreamed of it. Oh. So it's, uh, you have to thank RFD. Thank you so much for doing this. And uh, it's really going to give a big boost to our industry. And we're very excited. Speaking of the passion of the draft horse industry, it goes without saying that these horses are like your family. Yes, they are. You know, we, uh, you know every day they're, we're, they're taken care of. We spent count, countless hours with the horses. And uh, our whole crew works hard. Um, everybody's very dedicated to the horses and the showing. Speaking of what happened here in the in the arena today, take us through the drive off. When you get pulled out for the drive off, I know there's a lot of things going on in your mind. There is a lot of things going off and you're going on in your mind. Okay, now you realize, okay, we made the drive off. You know, you might try to be cons conservative before, but now it's time to let it go and try to. You got to go for it. So you take a little more risk because you've already know you're in the top three or four. So now you're going to take a risk and try to push them a little harder, and hope you don't make a mistake. So. The, these conditions here at the Mosquito Arena are a little bit different than you're used to. It's a little bit tighter quarters. What challenges did you face today? Uh, you know, the ring is small. It's a lot smaller than we're used to. Uh, square cornered rings, you know, uh, the music is a little louder than we're used to. Today was a lot better. Yesterday, we couldn't even hear ourselves think. But, uh, you know, they turned it down today, and uh, it's a, definitely a challenging uh, ring to drive in and uh, dodging all the people in the middle of the ring. <laughs> You know, I think that um, people at home have to know how great these horses are. They, like I said before, 2012 world champions. It's no surprise, but Travis Shaw summed it up when he said, these horses are our family. We eat with them, we sleep with them, we live with them. 
Well, and literally, and especially when you have a mare that has a baby foal, and you are there when that foal's born, and you take that foal, grow it up, train it, teach it, and then take it through the paces to get to this level. There's a lot to, a lot of bonding going on through the years right there. Listen to that crowd. Justin, I have to tell you, thank you so much for being with us and being a part of the Gentle Giants $100,000 Invitational. This, like I said, is the biggest spotlight that's ever been shown on the six four stitch industry. Well, it is an honor. You know, it's been said that if uh, you don't know your history, you're bound to repeat it. So I love keeping the history of the United States alive and the six horse hitches have done it again. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.